Welcome to BrideAccess.com. I'm Sarah Parker with Utah Central Credit Union and we're here at the beautiful woods on night. And I am Alex Boyer with BrideAccess.com. Welcome to the new series of episodes to help you plan the most wonderful wedding. On today's show we have ideas and tips from the best wedding professionals to help you with your wedding. We also have invitations and photography and videography information, so we have a lot on today's show. We'll also feature a wedding from Southern Utah, discuss a unique floral idea, and we will also bring you a financial tip to help get your marriage on the right track when it comes to money. So, sit back, and relax, and let us help you plan your wedding. You are watching BrideAccess.com. Hi, I'm Mary Crafts, and thanks to Bright Access for having us come today and speak to you a little bit about wedding trends. I love wedding trends, and I love to be up on trends. I think that's why we all buy those magazines every single year. We're not using ones from 1960 or 1970. We want the brand new magazine that's out this year. We're scoping the web for what's new out there for wedding blogs, wedding websites, because we want to know what's new this year. Nobody wants to be doing the same old thing. Well, at Culinary Crafts, we're very much into trendy things, and you'll probably don't know this little known fit fact that Culinary Crafts were actually the first caterers to bring the chocolate fountains into the United States. Of course, those have come and gone now. Um, we also were the first to bring cupcakes to the state of Utah, and everybody knows about the cupcake craze. Then when I was in Barcelona about four years ago, I saw a huge line of people out in front of a little bakery shop and they were all waiting to taste the French macaroon. And I waited in line like everyone else, took my French macaroon and was happy to pay $5 for it because they made it seem like it was a piece of jewelry that I was getting. So we brought the French macaroon to Utah and we've been doing that for about four years now. They are a delightful taste bite made out of just simply egg whites and a little bit of sugar and a wonderful filling done in beautiful colors that can be done in according with whatever colors you have selected for your wedding. But what's new this year? Is it still the macaroon? I think not. At Culinary Crafts, we've replaced the macaroon this year with the whoopie pie. It's very retro, very trendy. Once again, the fillings can be done in your colors. What better than a wall of whoopies? done in chocolate mint, chocolate with German chocolate, perhaps an orange, perhaps Rocky Road, all little sandwich cookies. Now, uh, Whoopie Pie is known for its soft cake, delicious fluffy filling, and just the right bite size. Culinary crafts trend for this year. Once again, 26 years of making your dreams a reality. Please visit our website for this and many other great ideas and click through to our blog, you'll love it. After all of the thousands of wedding videos that Remember When Films has done, it's time now for another tip. Mike, let's hear it. Three, two, one. Hi, I'm Michael Nelson with RememberWhenFilms.com. My expert tip today is to help you avoid the number one regrets that brides have. I've done 2,700 weddings throughout my career and we work with the bride before the wedding, during the wedding, after the wedding, and often for many years later with anniversaries. So I hear what their regrets are and what they really truly are. The number one regret is that they didn't videotape the luncheon, dinner, or breakfast, whichever one you have. People often think they don't need to videotape it. You know, who wants to be filmed while they're eating? But that's not what we're there for. We're there to capture the speeches and the toasts and the special musical numbers and presentations. You can't get a group of people together like that that are so important and not have some kind of speeches. Brides often think, well, we're not having prepared speeches or toasts, but you will. People will talk. The mom and dad, 
bride and groom, maid of honor, best man, will say something. And it's always emotional and funny. It's where we get our best laughter of the whole wedding experience is during these luncheons and dinners. With Latter-day Saint temple weddings, it's even more important because this is where the actual wedding ceremony is recapped for so many people who cannot go. This is where they explain what the bride was thinking when she saw the groom for the first time and vice versa. And they talk about who was there and what was said and what was done. It's a wonderful emotional recap for all of those who couldn't go. So film your lunch and breakfast or dinner and you won't have that regret. I said, oh my goodness, I forgot my dad's phone charger. And Mark said, well, as long as you have the rings, Dan's also had a difficult time dating. I mean, let's be honest, Dan. <laughs> if, if it weren't, I mean, we're all very grateful for Alicia. <laughs> She's an answer to many prayers. Looking for the perfect wedding gift for the new bride and groom? Look no further than the I Do Cookbook. Discover the romance of home-cooked, delicious, affordable meals in the comfort of your own kitchen. Help that new bride and groom get off to a great start. Order the I Do Cookbook today. I can't hear one word you say to me until you let me go. But I don't ever want you to let go or go oh, oh, away. Hey. If I can't feel your touch, it's too much for me Cause I can't believe that it's love until you let go Can't believe that it's love until I fell into it Can't believe that it's love, you're proving me wrong, wrong, wrong Oh, uh oh, why's this coming round again? Maybe you should know that all the time that I was waiting for somebody fascinating She was knocking at my door oh, oh, oh. So tell me now what should I do If it's me and it's you Cause I can't believe that it's love until you let go Can't believe that it's love until I fell into it Can't believe that it's love You're proving me wrong, wrong Took me so long, long, long With every beat in my heart And every breath that you take We're falling deeper in love This is a chemical notion I'm closer to you And it's a beautiful view This is so brand new I'm falling into your ocean I can't believe that it's love Until you let go Can't believe that it's love Until I fell into it Can't believe that it's love You're proving me wrong So long, long, long Oh, I can't hear one word you say to me Until you let me go But I don't ever want you to let go Oh, go, oh, oh, away Congratulations from all of us at BrightAccess.com and Utah Central Credit Union on your recent engagement. Now is the time that you are diving into wedding planning and there's nothing better to help you than this pink binder. It is the best when it comes to organization for your wedding. You can remove this picture and actually insert your wedding invitation, your engagement pictures, or just a special picture of you and your loved one. And then you can stay organized with the tabs inside. You can put your contracts, the business cards, everything you need to help categorize and make sure every detail of your wedding is taken care of. Also inside your wedding binder, you will find a card to Utah Central Credit Union. Bring this in and open your visa and you will receive a 2.9% and you will get $50 put into your new joint checking account. 
Just a little something from all of us at Utah Central Credit Union. Brides, this binder will keep you completely organized and sane for that matter. It can be picked up at any Utah Central Credit Union branch at several of the brideaccess.com partners and requested on brideaccess.com. Hi, I'm Ann with Ann Elizabeth Custom Design and Printing. I have a helpful hint for you today on planning how to address your envelopes. So I have a couple of easy steps that will make this easy for you. So first, when you're working with your stationer, please order extra envelopes. I promise that some are going to come back in the mail and they're gonna to have to be readdressed and I promise that at least on a couple of those envelopes, you're just gonna make a mistake when you're writing it and you're gonna think, oh shoot, and you're gonna put it aside and you're gonna need an extra envelope. Another really helpful hint is just go ahead and have the return address printed. There's no reason for you to handwrite your return address on all of those envelopes. You're already putting in a lot of work handwriting where they're going to. Just have your return address pre-printed. This also gives you a great opportunity for your stationer to pull in the same type style, the same look, the same color as what's used on the inside of your invitation. So it really has a coordinated look from the envelope to the invitation. Now, I want to talk to you about mailing labels. Calligraphy or handwritten is still considered best, but I know that a lot of us out there look at the task of addressing 500 envelopes and think, oh, that seems a little bit too daunting. So let's talk about mailing labels. I don't love them, I'll admit, but I have some really good hints for making them look the best that you can make them look. So if you're going to do mailing labels, this is my recommendation always a clear label. Please, please, please don't choose a white label. Get a clear label and get a little bit bigger label than you would normally get. The reason I want you to get a bigger label is so that you can actually point size a little bit bigger font. You can use a script font and you're going to need a bigger label to make that fit on the label. So don't do that little one inch by two inch label. I want you to get like a two inch by four inch label. A nice script font. It'll make your life easier and if you're still doing mailing labels that is the by far the best way to make them look really nice. Choose an appropriate pen. This is actually really, really important. So obviously this is when you're going to write the envelopes, not do mailing labels, but choosing an appropriate pen is really an important factor. Don't choose a cheap Bic pen that is going to have breaks in the lines and is not going to write really smoothly. Choose a nice medium point pen. Even uh, those very fine tip Sharpie markers work wonderfully. You also need to be a little bit careful on what pen you choose is appropriate for your paper. For instance, if you've chosen a metallic envelope, some pens just aren't going to work. So make sure that you take an envelope to a paper and supply store, try out a couple of pens, and buy a nice pen to do the addressing. And my last helpful hint here is to use a line guide. This is something that is really something that will help you immensely and has kind of gone out of fashion and nobody really thinks about it anymore. I want you to remember it, so I have a little example for you. A line guide is very, very easy. It's a piece of paper with four lines printed extremely bold on the piece of paper. All you're doing here is taking this, you're inserting it into your envelope, <clears throat> and voila, look at that. You can see right through it. As you write those envelopes, you'll be able to write straight. You'll be able to have even lines. You'll be able to have everything look very precise and neat and tidy on your envelope. And when you're done addressing that envelope, all you do is take this out, move it to your next envelope, and you're ready to go on the next envelope. Get a few people going, get a couple of line guides going as you're addressing, get an assembly line going, and your addressing process will go faster than you think and it will be neat and tidy with a line guide. Ask any stationer for a line guide. They can help you produce one. Most stationers will have one that they can give you or can send you by email. I'm Ann with Ann Elizabeth Custom Design and Printing. You can catch us on our website, annelizabeth.com, and of course on Bright Access. Want to improve your relationship? Think about a small habit your spouse has that irritates you. Got it? Okay. Now forget about it. For more tips, expert advice, and resources in your area that can help you learn how to work things out together, visit StrongerMarriage.org. 
Hi, I'm Robin Wood with Marvelous Catering, and we are here in Southern Utah today at the home of the Nielsen family. And we are catering for Daniel and Katie, and they're a really cute couple, and we we're really excited to do their wedding. He spent some time in Scandinavia, so he asked if we would make Swedish meatballs for him today. And so hopefully we got that right, and he'll be pleased with what we've done. I am Tim Connor. This is Katasha Connor, and we are Infinity Imagery. When Katie first approached us, she came into the studio, and it's so fun to meet with with her and Daniel. They came in, and uh, we just kind of talked about the things that, that she wanted and things that were important to her. We got to do engagements and bridles with. Katie and Daniel before the wedding day. So it was really nice because we got to get to know them, get to know their personalities, hang out with them some, and then being with them on their wedding day, a very important day to them, we, we were able to be closer and become friends with them. It's been a long process. At first I thought Katie was crazy to do it here because we thought it was so cold. And then we got Laura to help us. And the pro I couldn't have asked for anything more beautiful. We are so pleased that this has just turned out to be a celebration of pearls and chocolate. We are so grateful for all the people who have helped out. Those that have spent time organizing and really, they've really put their hearts into it. We appreciate them and uh, know that uh, that won't be missed no. when we think back on Katie's wedding. Made it easier, I think, for us. Because a lot of the stress, I was stressing out about a lot of things, but there I was just like, okay, we'll take care of it, no worries, and today has just been nice. I can spend time with him and not have to worry about anything else except smiling really big. <laughs> Katie and Daniel, we hope that you have an amazing life together and that it will be all that you dreamed of and hoped for. It was an honor for us to be with you today and to capture this event for you. Good luck to you and have a wonderful life together. You've decided to get married and now you're here ready to order or think about your flowers. So let's start off here. First, you'd come, you'd fill out your bridal profile. This gives the basic information to your wedding, helps you decide kind of how many of each thing that you need, talks about your colors, your budget, and some of the other things that we can help you with. Then we give you a packet. This packet is filled with really good information. It helps you pick a color scheme, see flowers in season, see all the other things that we offer. And this packet, you can take and put it inside your bride access binder. You can keep everything organized right inside here and quick at your fingertips whenever you need it. So, when we first come in, we have our flower deck. And this flower deck shows you all the different flowers that come in the color that you may be thinking about. Let's choose one. Let's choose red, for instance. As we fan out the red deck, we can see the things that come in red. So, let's pick one. Here's some red freesia. Let's say we're thinking about red freesia, but we don't know when it's in season. Well, let's turn over the card and see what we can find. We see here that freesia is in season all year round. It also is helpful to show you the other colors that freesia may come in. It talks about their characteristics, how long they last, how many stems are in the bunch, and then any special care and handling that you may have. When we come here, the bouquet. The bouquet is the highlight of your wedding, and it's what should be picked first. Here we have different bouquets that we have made and things in this book. There's plenty of pictures, there's plenty of books, places to get ideas. It's really good also to go online and see if there's a bouquet that you like. Bring that, put it in a collage, and we can talk about it when you come for your consultation. On this table, we have many, many examples again of the different boutonnieres and corsages that you can use. Then, maybe you're thinking you don't want to use a boutonniere or a corsage. Or you have a little flower girl that might enjoy a wand, maybe made of roses, made of carnations. They're beautiful, made out of cymbidium orchids. And cymbidium orchids, I know that sounds like a delicate name, but they are hardy. And they'll hold up to little girls beating each other with them. Centerpieces maybe aren't that easy, and a lot of people have a lot of questions, and we're here to answer them. We have all of our glass displayed here, 
And we have a book just filled with ideas and different ways that you can use our rental glass to make your centerpieces. Well, we have a full line of budget weddings. Each wedding consists of a bouquet, boutonnieres, corsages. Some have bridesmaids, some have centerpieces, but it's a good way to get an idea of what a wedding package might cost. With our help and our ideas, you can make your wedding day the day that you've dreamed of. Thanks, and I'm Amy with The Flower Patch, and you're watching BrideAccess.com. Did you know that the main cause of marital challenges is money? Although your love may be strong, life's money issues can challenge even the strongest of marriages. We want to help make your marriage financially strong. This is why we bring you financial advice to help make your marriage happily ever after. Studies have shown that uh, the number one cause of divorce is uh, money. So uh, what can we do to safeguard ourselves from this problem? Well, just like you said, it, money. I mean, you just think, you're so in love. Mm -hmm. How can something as silly as money tear you apart? And it does. Mm -hmm. You really should have between three and six months worth of, ex um, of income or expenses to um, in your rainy day account or your emergency account. So if you're thinking of your income right now and timesing that by three or six, thinking that's just got to be sitting in my savings account, I know that can be a daunting number. Um, but I recommend for couples to start out with maybe a more attainable goal of $1,000 for right now and then work towards that bigger sum. Right. So now, the, I mean, the hardest thing to, to most people seems to be actually getting started, right? So <laughs> how, how do we do that? How do we, how do we commence this road of, of financial, you know what I mean, security, so to speak? Sure. Well, I have three tips that I think are really helpful. The first is to get in the habit of paying yourself first. So when you get mm -hmm. your paycheck, make sure that you are your first bill or expense. Mm -hmm. um, an easy way I know that I do and a lot of people have tried doing is through direct deposit, your paycheck goes straight to your financial institution. You can actually set up an automatic transfer to have X amount go to straight to your savings. So mm -hmm. you kind of don't even see it ever because it goes right, right into your savings account. So that's one great way um, to do it. The second goal would be to, um, if you ever get extra money, to save it. So if you get like your tax return or grandma gives you a hundred bucks or whatever it is, <laughs> instead of thinking, oh, I know exactly what I'm going to buy, put it into your savings account. And the last way is to plug saving leaks or plug spending leaks by yeah. saving. Um, have you ever tracked, and you probably have done this, but a, a lot of young people haven't, um, tracked every penny that you spend for three months. My wife is really good at that. And so it, it actually helped us realize how much money we're actually receiving. You know, when you because when you when you when you're like monitoring it, you realize you're actually getting in a lot more than you actually think. Because sometimes you, you put it in a place and you just oh I'll spend it here I'll spend it here I'll spend it here and you know when when you kind of spend in that way you don't yeah. think you're having much because you're always looking at what you don't have. And when you, you know? get married, it's times two. Yeah, yeah. So that can yeah. be tricky, but those are three easy tips to just get started and and then you can re make your goals and. And you know, just keep plugging away, and, and eventually one day you'll be like, oh, I have my six months of savings right ah, here. Well, see, there you go. <laughs> That's the, uh, I mean, straight, straight from uh, Sarah from Credit Union. <laughs> she knows what she's talking about. So uh, if we want to get some more information on this, where can we go? You are welcome to visit utahcentral.com mm. or even brightaccess.com for more information. Okay, well, there it is. Tune in. We're going to be hearing from Sarah every week. She's going to be giving us some financial information and ways that we can really, really be good with our money, especially in our marriages. In our efforts to help you plan your wedding and take out some of the stress, brightaccess.com has a new wedding blog, and it's just for you. Get detailed information from the top wedding professionals in the industry, plus tips from our own brightaccess.com experts. Happy planning from brightaccess.com, where you can find everything you need to plan a wedding, <laughs> grooms not included. We are here at the beautiful Magnolia Grove with Amy, and we have just been up in the bride's room, and can I tell you, it is breathtaking. It is, you walk in and it's so bright and so gorgeous, and you just are in awe, You're just, your jaw goes to the ground. I bet you have brides all the time who just... Oh, they love the bride's room. Just because of that room. Yes, they love the bride's room. It's the biggest, most beautiful bride's room and perfect oh, it for is. all the bridesmaids. There's this fun balcony where you can throw your bouquet up. Oh, it's so fun. And now we're just coming down the stairs where if you were the bride, you'd be walking with your beautiful dress and just coming in to say, I do, which is so fun. <laughs> I want to welcome Magnolia Grove to Bride Access. They're new with us and we're so excited to be a partner with you. 
Well, let's go check out the buffet. Oh, you've got to see the buffet. It's beautiful. This is a great dance floor just right here so close to the dining area. Our brides love this. They can come and have a good time with their family members dancing on the dance floor, or they can just sit around and enjoy their meal. Oh, it's so perfect. We're just on our way to the buffet table. I'm telling you, it is so beautiful. And what I love is that everything is so coordinated. You have all the ties and the linens, but then the buffet table is just perfectly in coordination with everything else. What, do, what are some of the other things that brides love about this buffet table? It's set up right in the middle of the room, so it's very convenient for everybody. It is. I always hate when I'm at the wedding and I'm at the table at the back and I think, I really need another brownie, but I can't go yeah. up and get it. Well, you can sneak one here at Magnolia Grill. <laughs> Oh, and I bet it's wonderful. Now you have catering as well, is we that? We do. We provide all of the catering here. We have a chef and we have everything is made fresh here on our premises. Now, I can see just lots of beautiful dishes and things like that on the table. What kinds of foods um, do brides usually choose or is it just all over? We have a huge menu selection to choose from. We've got from light refreshments to a full service buffet to a formal sit down dinner. So we oh, do wow. it all here at Magnolia Grove. And does that include the plates and it does, Everything. yes. The sit-down menu selection includes all of the china, the glassware, the silverware, the napkins. Everybody is close enough together that we're all together in a group, but yet you're not right, you know, feeling it helps up. <laughs> Exactly. There's plenty of room and everything is open, so the brides can be um, mingling through with their guests and people can be dancing and everybody's still in the same area. I love it. I mean, from clear over here, I mean, this room, this area is so huge. But even from over here, I can see over to the dance floor. I can enjoy the piano, and I can even see into the room where the brides just said I do. Amy, now this is the grand entrance to Magnolia Grove. And let me tell you, it is so beautiful. Just think, this is where you and your guests will come in and enter for your big special day, and then, your guests will see you off right through this door as a married couple. So fun. But what I really also love about this is, now correct me if I'm wrong, but when you decide to book with Magnolia Grove, this entire place is yours. Is that right? You don't it no is. sharing, no, no sign this way for this wedding and this way for no that wedding. No sharing, it's all included. Wow. The dance floor is included, um, the piano is included, the outside garden area, absolutely beautiful. It is all included. We do not have extra charges for any of those things. Oh my goodness, there is so much space. You could just, everything is possible here. And I love that it's just so beautiful. Your pictures would be gorgeous. Your video would be gorgeous. You, of course, would be gorgeous coming down those stairs. Oh, I just love it. Magnolia Grove is the perfect place for your wedding. Check out more at brightaccess.com or magnoliagroveweddings.com. Thanks so much for joining us. Well, here we're here at the end of the episode again, and thank you so much for all the wonderful, talented professionals who gave their advice and tips and wonderful words of wisdom. And if you need more information, be sure to visit us on brideaccess.com or our blog or our brideaccess.com Facebook page. And remember, we have everything you need to plan your wedding. Except the groom. You have to find that on your own. Brightaccess.com would like to thank our contributors, Culinary Crafts, The Flower Patch, Remember When Film, Studio One Photography, Castle Bridge Films, Anne Elizabeth Invitations, and David Perry Films. The hosts of Brightaccess.com are Alex Boyer and Sarah Parker. Brightaccess.com is brought to you by Utah Central Credit Union. We're in it together.